Hi guys, it's Rob here with another Unity tutorial. And today I'm going to be going over some of the basic uh, Unity interface components, namely down here this project and console, uh, these, these tabs here. So one thing you'll notice, your project tab, it contains your asset folder and also if we make another folder here, you'll see that it's going to put it in a little bit of a hierarchy. Right, so our assets folder contains all the assets grouped for the project. And then we have this new folder here. Now, also what I want to show you with this is that we have this console tab here. Now, clear is going to clear whatever's in the console, leaving you with an empty console. Now, there's certain times that this won't work. For example, if you try to clear when there are errors in your current project or your current scene uh, or in a script that you've just been working on that's in the assets folder and you haven't fixed those errors, those errors will not clear out. But any warnings or any type of um, messages here those are going to clear out. Now I'll just untoggle these real quick. So basically this button right here, you can just click clear. You can't really toggle it. You just click it once and it happens. But collapse, you could toggle. So let's say I were to hit play here. And we see that I get this information printed to the console. Now what happens if I uncollapse this? Well you see that there's a whole bunch of message twos and there's only one of the three. What this means that one time the value of my variable was three. It was like initialized, right? But then somehow the value changed to two. Now it's not important why these things are happening under the hood. Uh, if you watch one of my last tutorials, Public Static Variables, you'll realize that these are the same values I used in that tutorial. But what is important is that we could toggle this collapse feature so that Unity takes all of these two printouts, which are exactly the same if you check them out, you hit the collapse feature, and now you see the exact number of times that this, that this is there. But if we hit play again, you'll notice that we're getting a dynamically updating count. And you'll notice that 3 went back to 2. Why uh, 3 went to a count of 2. Why is that? That's because we didn't clear out our console, so the previous stats are simply added to. If we unplay it now, you'll see that jump to 3, and the, and the second one, the second message, will keep counting up. You see? So before we play, if we're trying to debug something, we might want to hit this clear button. Now clear on play is another way to do this. So what we'll do is we'll hit play, we'll unplay. Now remember last time when we hit play, this went to 2 and this started incrementally counting. If we hit clear on play, the console is automatically cleared on play and it went so fast you couldn't even see it. But actually what happened was this was cleared out and then the new values were put in. Okay, now error pause is another toggle. I'm not too sure about that one, uh, but I could definitely get back to you in another tutorial. But what I really want to go over in this tutorial is actually this setting right here, these, these three toggle switches. See, because what this does is this hides your messages, right? So your print statements or any sort of information, this is going to toggle on and off that. So when it's in this white toggled state, it turns that on and it expands this list. When you turn this off, that means you're not going to see any of the messages in the console. You'll only see warnings and errors. So this is for your print statements, your output to the console. This toggle switch right here is for your warnings, and this toggle switch is for your errors. So to better illustrate this to you, why don't we do uh, something here. Uh, I'll make public game object. So right now I'm just going to make code. I'm going to write code that has all three components. We're going to have the message or output component. We're going to have the warning component, and we're going to have the error component, just so I better illustrate to you uh, how these are being used. So let's see, go one, right? And also what we'll do is I'll say here, I'll leave out a semicolon, because uh, I want to leave that out. Okay. So now what you're going to see here, I hit play. Oops, once again, forgot to save here. So remember, when you're going from mono develop to Unity, as you've seen a few times in these tutorials already, you need to save. Uh, warnings, okay, so it's throwing warnings, I think that, I mean, sorry, it's throwing errors. Uh, I think that the reason it's not showing any warnings right now is probably because I have to fix these errors first. Uh, but public game object go, that should be un, uh, unused, so sometimes it'll give me a warning with that. But there are a lot of other warnings that it throws, so just be mindful of that. But, um, so it's going to tell me right now that I need to take care of these errors. But if I want to untoggle those, right? I could just click this button. If I want to untoggle the messages, I just click this button. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit clear. And you'll see these errors still remain. And I'm, then now I'm going to go to play mode. Well, all compiler errors have to be fixed before I can enter play mode. So that's why I'm getting all these compiler errors here. You might also get runtime errors. And if they don't crash your game, 
Uh, that's just if something goes out of range, something, but that might not be a detrimental error to your game. Now, what I want to do here is I want to just put back in that semicolon. And now you'll see that when I hit play, we're up and running. And now, remember, if I want to unshow these, I would just toggle this button. So that's a quick overview of the project and console tabs. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, please check out my other tutorials on Unity and on some of the other uh, subjects in computing and art. And uh, yeah, I'd really like to get your feedback. Please leave it in the comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.